All right, another quick video. This will be the first time I've actually tried to use the coolant nozzle in an actual program. Uh, I'm making a little fixture to go inside my spindex for machining the turrets uh, for these things. So uh, right now it's on tool zero. It still thinks tool five because that is the current pocket that is aligned on the carousel. So let's see what happens. I'm going to start the program. So it, sorry, I got the feed rate backed off here because I'm a little nervous. So it picked tool three. I believe the nozzle is updated to a good spot. I'm just gonna slow it down because I'm just concerned about my offsets, but I think everything looks good. So that was roughly where I had uh, set the nozzle to. And let's see how this goes. Here, I'll turn this up to 100. Hopefully my offsets are all correct. Again, we picked up that we switched to tool three. Move the nozzle accordingly. This is the last hole it's gonna drill before it's gonna do a chamfer and then it's gonna do a rigid tap. So let's see how it does. I know I'm drilling super slow. Okay, so here we go, it's another tool change. So I think we're gonna go to tool five now. So let's, let's see what happens. There we go. So it's properly picked up tool five and it's moved the, moved the nozzle to a pretty, actually I'm gonna tweak that. There. And it'll remember this position for next time. But I think that's much better. And now we're gonna go to tool one. There we go, so it's successfully caught all that. Let's see if I can get it to focus better in here. Now I'm a little nervous, so I'm gonna slow it down. Again, I'll just tweak that a bit. And let's let her rip. So far, so good. Sorry, the camera work. I'm nervously watching the machine, not the camera. So now let's let's just reload tool five. The program's done, which is good. We'll reload tool five, and you know how I tweaked it when it pulled it up last time. Let's just see how how it uh, looks now. So here's tool five again, and we'll throw the coolant on and just see if it. Uh, there you go. Good. So I think once, if the spindle's running, let's do this. We'll go to 3000 RPM, spindle mode M3. There. So I think the rotation is what threw me off. I set it static and I didn't realize the effect that the uh, no, wait, spinning uh, tool would have. Now we can't see anything. But there you have it, everything seems to be working pretty well. Um, you know what, for fun, let's just go let's stop the spindle. Let's pull up tool one again. And just, uh, geez, not like my focus. We'll just, uh, Oops, I must have done something funny there. Something's not right. Uh, okay. I just 
I must say it's tool zero, not tool one. So let's turn the coolant back on and see how it is. There you go. Yep, everything's working just like it should. So it updated when I made tweaks to it when I loaded it last and it's uh, made those changes, saved them, pulled them up for the next time we use the tool. So there you go, a little quick video of it actually running and this is the first time I had actually ran a part with the coolant nozzle working. So it's kind of exciting. Anyway, there you go.